Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have a lower body and ab workout for you today. All you'll need is a pair of hand weights. Today I'm using three pounds. Please feel free to use two pounds or one, whatever your shoulders need. And we're gonna get started at the front end of our mat. So take a walk to the front, feet about six bones distance, right underneath you. Let your arms just settle down by your sides with those hand weights. Tuning into your breath, take a deep breath in. Just start to feel the ribs expand wide into the upper arms. And let your ribs just soften in and down as your belly button gently pulls back towards that spine. So bigger breath, fill up the sides of the waist, those back ribs. And as you exhale, just let your ribs soften in and down, but feel your belly button pull in and up. So you're starting to feel the core and pelvic floor engagement. One more breath together like this. As you exhale, the sides of the waist lengthen because the ribs are knitting in and your belly's pulling back. Good. And then from there, open the eyes if they're closed. You're gonna extend your arms forward, straight ahead, palms facing the ground, and start to send those hips straight back. So we're in our first squat to start. Take another breath here, try to get a little more full through the front of those hips. And then push down to the heels, exhale, stand all the way in those arms, return by your side. And we're gonna continue with a few squats. So arms reach forward, hips go back. Driving down to the heels, you squeeze those glutes at the top. Good. And if the arms get too much for you, just put those hands right into those hip creases and just hold those arms close by. Good, so with the arms reaching forward, you can get those hips straight back. Whatever works for you, we're going for about eight more. Try to keep your eyes up. Collarbones wide as those arms reach forward. So starting to warm up through that back chain of the body. Shoulders, glutes, hamstrings and calves. Good. Think of widening through your sitting bones as you sit, and then squeeze them as you rise up. Let's go for four. Three. Two. Pause down here on one. Have your palms face in towards each other. Your elbows are gonna bend on your breath in and extend. Elbows row in, just graze those ribs and extend. Can you sit a little deeper for the last six? For the last five? Four? Three? Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Last two. One more. You're gonna hold your elbows in. Hinging even more, push into your toes and extend your arms to straight. Bend at those elbows, extend and bend. So you're shifting the weight slightly forward, reaching your tailbone back. Good, and we're gonna continue here for the next five, and we're gonna add on one more time. So four, three, two, one. Bend those elbows, stand on up, shoulder press. You're gonna sit it back, tricep press, sit it and it up, shoulder press. Now if the shoulder press is too much, to reach those arms over your head, just simply extend and bend those arms to rise. Wherever you are, let's go for six. <sighs> Building some heat through the back body, you got five. Last four. <sighs> Three. Last two. <sighs> let's all hold it back on one, hold it here. Tiny little pulses down for 10. Nine, reach those arms straight and long. Good, last six. Five, four, three, two, one, and stand it all the way up. Really nice work. Take a breath, drop your chin to the chest, and then slowly melt the spine down one bone at a time. Let those hand weights really weight those arms down. You can release the weights, give your head a gentle shake, Yes, no. And then from there, pick up those hand weights one more time. Keep your arms heavy. Start to scoop and curl your tailbone under, stacking the spine on and up, one bone at a time. Perfect. 
let's open up to the center of the mat. So more squats, but now more external rotation. You're gonna grab hold of your hand weights, interlace your hands, roll those shoulders back, and you're just gonna bend your knees wide. Bend your knees wide, pelvis drops, pause here for a moment, check in in those front ribs, knitting in and down, and then drive down to the heels to rise back up. So you're gonna inhale, lower down, take a deep breath in, pause, and then exhale, rise. Good, so now we're in external rotation. So think of spiraling those knees out in line with your big toes and second toes, right? And let your ribs just be soft and down. Exhale to rise. Let's go for about six more. So you're just trying to find how deep you can go down and finding a nice deep hinge in those hips. So your range of movement might be smaller than mine. Wherever you are, keep breathing. Try to keep your heart lifted, chest proud. You've got three. Last two. One more time. Pause it down here. So let your arms drop by your side. You're gonna reach your right arm forward as you lift your right heel up and then lower it back down. And then your left arm reaches forward, left heel lifts up. Arm and heel, lift. Good, my pelvis hasn't changed. I'm just reaching that arm forward, my heel up. Four more. Try to keep those shoulders connected to your back. Three, last two, last one. Hold it there, both arms lift, hold it there. Little pulses up and down, up and down with that pelvis, chest proud. Belly in, you've got six, five, four, three, two, one, stand it up, arms come down. Keep your arms down, you're gonna go for a second set. Lower and lift. Breathe in, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So maybe now you're getting a little deeper into those hips, using a little momentum of your arms to rise. Wherever you are, let's go for six. Drop it, lift five, four, three, two. Hold those arms up, meet me down there, hold it here. Bend your elbows wide to the sides of the room. Close them and open them. Back to those abs, so those back abs are wrapping, right? Transverse abdominals, good, open. Good, last pause here, you've got five. Good, four, three, two. Last thing, keep those elbows straight ahead, lift them up an inch and down an inch. Up an inch, down an inch, you've got this. Eight, get a little lower. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and stand it up. All 10 toes straight ahead. Great work, everyone. Take a breath in. Exhale, nod your chin and roll on down. Drop the weights off for now. Maybe again, give a nice bend to those knees. Good, and then you're gonna just pick up one weight into your hand and then you're gonna roll your spine all the way on up. Hold the weight close to your heart. You're gonna plant your right foot all the way up to the very edge of that mat, and then you're gonna push off that right foot and stand it up. Inhale, the step out, exhale to rise. Good, so we're just starting off small, right? We're headed to the right, hinging at those hips. And as we do this, I want you to find a moment where your right foot is light as a feather that you could actually and possibly lift your right foot off the ground. So just a little check, good. Be mindful that you're not rounding those shoulders when you hinge those hips back. So keep the collarbones broad. Let's go for five. Last four. Three. To really power off that right foot. 
Last one, you're gonna meet me out in that lunge. Hold it out there. Pause, reach your arms down. Lift your left heel up. Majority of the weight is on that right foot. You're gonna tap your left foot in and tap it out. Tap it in, tap it out. Can we fold a little more into that right hip for six? For five, four. We're gonna keep this leg moving. We're gonna add a little bit more arm work in three, two, a little quicker. We bend and extend. So we row those elbows back. Good, pull it to that chest. Good, last six, last five. You got this, four, three, two. Hold it in, stand it up, shake it out. Good work. We got the other side to do. Again, all 10 toes are straight ahead. Hold that weight in the center of your heart. Elbows are lifted and wide. Step your left foot out to its side, and then step it back in. Hinging evenly through both hips, so both sit bones are reaching back, pushing off that left foot to rise. Good. Ease in the neck and shoulders, powering off that left foot. Nice. Have you done that little balance check, just hovering your left foot off the floor a little bit? Six. Breathing in, exhale for five. Arrive, good. Four. Three. Two. Let's all stick it on one hold. Reach the weight down in the center of your heart, but lift your right heel off the ground. Really plug that left hip in and back. Tap that foot in and out. So the right leg is really passive. It's just gently tapping in and out. Nice and slowly knowing we are stabilizing through our left hip, left knee and left ankle. Good, four, and we hold it out. Three, two, let's pick it up. Arm and leg bend, in and out. In and out. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four. Can you sit a little deeper? Last three, two, one, and stand it up. So, so good. Shake it out a little bit. Good, you can rest your weights down by your sides. We're just gonna take a walk to the front of the mat where we started. Interlace your hands behind your head. Inhale, let your head weight heavy. Again, make sure you're not locking your knees. Just look up. Good, and then let your elbows frame your face. Gently push down onto that neck as you roll down. One bone at a time. Hang here. Maybe it feels good to have your hands interlaced behind your skull. Just weighting it down a little more. Tailbones lifted up in opposition. Rest your arms down. Generous bend of the knees. We're all finding our first plank now. So step those feet back, reach the center of the chest forward and feel as though you could rip that mat apart. Your armpits are wrapped in, the backs of the legs are lengthening long and your belly button's pulled back to the spine. Keep breathing, two more cycles of breath. Feeling strong in those legs. One more breath here. And then gently tap your knees down, take a seat. Reach your arms forward a little more, tend up the fingertips. One more breath here, drop your face. And then just walk your hands towards those knees. We're all gonna lie onto our backs. So you can bring those weights with you beside each hip. And just curl your tailbone to roll onto your backs. Good. Now from here, I want you to extend your arms straight up towards the ceiling. Good, let your pelvis just drop down to your first time on your back. And just take a moment to let your shoulder blades weight down to the mat and just feel them broad and heavy. One leg at a time, we're gonna flip to tabletop. Good, from here, take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, I want you to start to hinge your right toes towards the mat. So you're hinging from your right hip and then lifting it right back up. And then your left. So we're just, again, feeling a nice arc through the front of the hip and length through the quad as we're lengthening our toes towards that front 
end of our mat where we started class. And then again, I want you to find a nice neutral pelvis. So really push the hips down and feel a little light through your low back. Right, just a little bit of light. Good, and we're just hinging for eight. <sighs> Starting to feel those low abdominals for seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one more on each side. Good, you're gonna plant your right foot all the way to the floor. Your left toes are gonna reach up to the ceiling, palms face the wall in front of you. Take a deep breath in to prepare. You're gonna exhale, curl your head, heart and shoulders up. Again, square off those hips, lengthening through the left side of that waist, and then lower your spine back down. Exhale, you curl head, heart and shoulders, reaching towards the wall in front of you, and lowering back down. We're going for six. Inhale to lengthen, exhale for five. Good, so really feel the collarbones broad, reaching those arms beyond those hips for three. Two. Holding it up on your next curl, I want you to extend just your right leg out. Pausing here, turn out your thighs, really hug into the midline and start to pulse little crunches for 10. Reach to those arms for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs lift, arms lift. Take a breath in. You're gonna rotate to the left on your exhale. Your right arm goes right between your legs. So you're looking right outside that left hip and you're lowering right back down with control. Right leg lifts. Right leg lowers as you twist over to that left hip and then lengthen back down. Continue here, really still lengthening through both arms. Left toes reaching to the sky in opposition. We've got five. We've got four. Three. Two. Hold it up on the curl. Reach the arms out to a little high diagonal tiny little pulses up to that thigh. Lift your heart up towards that chest. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and rest it down. Really good work. Arms are gonna be lifted again. Take a deep breath in, arms are reaching up towards the ceiling. Settle those ribs in and down. Legs are gonna lower, double, toe, taps, and lift. Toes tap. So again, your toes don't need to literally touch the mat. You do what's best for your back. Just checking in that those frontal ribs are in and down. Maintain a nice neutral pelvis. So a little, little light through the lower lumbar here. And we're gonna continue here for the next eight, seven. Really squeeze those ankles, knees, and thighs together for six. Five, checking in, then your neck and shoulders are heavy. Three, two, one. Left foot to the ground, right leg to the sky. Palms face forward, take a breath in. You're gonna curl up to the base of your shoulder blades, wrist right by those hips. Make sure the clavicles are wide, and then lower your spine down. Continue with these curls, exhale to lift. Inhale to low, lower down with control. And again, just be mindful that that right hip is lengthening towards the end of your mat. Nice square hips here. Good. Keep breathing. Exhale to lengthen. Inhale, lower. Now at any time, if you feel like your neck is getting more of a workout, please feel free to drop these weights down, right? The next time you curl up, we'll pause up, left leg extends out. Externally rotate those thighs, tiny pulses from your breastbone for 10, nine, eight. Can you reach your right toes to the sky a little more for five, four, three, two, and one. Arms lift, feet lift, head down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, you're gonna rotate to that right thigh, lengthen your left leg to a hover. 
Inhale, lower it down with control. So as that left leg lengthens to the wall in front of you, you're just rotating your chest to split that right thigh in half, right? So try not to rotate too much and try to keep lengthening through both arms. Good, just a little gaze down towards the outside of that right hip. Wherever you are, we're gonna go for three and hold it up. Reach it out, lengthen for two. Pause up in that curl on one, tiny pulses. Up, maybe the arms lift a little higher so the clavicles can widen. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, and rest it down. So good, just weight those, put those weights back down and just let your arms weight down by your sides. Legs extend up to the ceiling. Keeping the head down this time, you're just gonna slowly draw your belly in so much, you're gonna scoop and just lift those hips off the mat, exhale. So a little scoop to lift the pelvis up and then slowly release the lower back down with control. So it's a little scoop to those low abs. Think toes over those nose. Good. So maybe you wanna give a little check and reach your arms up to the ceiling so you know you're not using your arms. Just a little left. Like I could slip a piece of paper underneath your low back, nothing too crazy. Let's go for four. Let's go for three. Last two. Last one, now hold it here, hands behind your head. You're gonna curl your head, heart and shoulders up. Your legs are gonna lower down and then they're gonna lift. Legs are gonna lower down and they're gonna lift. Now two legs are heavier than one. So if you wanna maybe make the movement a little smaller, please do listen to your back. Wherever you are, you've got five. You've got four. Three. Two. Last one. Hold it here. You're gonna reach that right hand towards your right ankle, right calf. Lower your left leg to the ground. Bend your elbows, pause here, flex both feet. Pull that knee towards your nose, and then exhale, switch. Inhale, pause here. Really lengthen through both feet, right? Both heels, pull, exhale, switch. Inhale, pause, stretch, exhale, switch. Breathe in, pause, exhale, switch. So, curl up a little higher. Ease the neck and shoulders and you're pulling that leg towards you as that bottom leg is reaching to the wall in front of you. Finding that nice opposition. Maybe you don't need your arms. We're finishing this here, last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, both legs to the sky, hold and breathe for three. Curl up a little higher, two, and one. Rest it down, so good. Give your knees a little rock from side to side, maybe your head. And then grab holds to the back of the thighs. Cross those ankles, meet me for your final plank. So finishing off the core here, shoulders stacked over those wrists, knees directly underneath the hips. Take a breath in, widen to the sides of the waist, tucking those toes under. As you exhale, front rib in and down, hug your knees just two inches off the ground. Really wrap the armpits in, reach the center of the chest forward. Keeping that tailbone lifted, I want you to pike those hips all the way up and back. Find a downward facing dog. Perfect. From here, lift your heels high, you're gonna hover your knees on your exhale. Again, hips lift up and out, up and out, little pike. And you're gonna return back to that knee hover. Pushing down to the palms, lift that tail up the back. And then lengthen back out. Four more. Try to keep those heels exactly where they are as you hover those knees. Last three. Breathing in, lengthening to that hover. Two. Last one. Good, holding it here and breathing for five. Again, imagine those hands sliding towards those knees for four, 
three, two, one, knees down. You can take your child's pose or find your last full high plank leg stretch behind. Again, same idea, keeping those hips lifted. You wanna lift the hips up a little higher and find your downward dog. Lower the heels, everyone. Lift the heels. Last push of class, come forward. High plank, broad clavicle. Pull the belly to the spine. We're just holding and breathing. If you'd like to drop down to your form, you may. We're holding and breathing for the next eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop your knees down. Last child's pose. Walk your hands towards your knees, everyone. Swing those legs around. And to finish, we're just gonna find a little stretch. Palms on the mat, fingertips reaching away. Take a breath. Lift your hips, right ankle on top of your left thigh. Finding a figure four stretch here. Again, you can walk your hands a little closer to your butt. Finding a little more stretch to that outer right hip. Good. A couple more breaths here. Make sure your right ankle is flexed. Spine is tall. Place your right foot down, same thing, other side, lift those hips up, left ankle planted on top of that right thigh, take a seat, checking on what hip is tighter than the other, good, chest proud, take another cycle of breath here, maybe walk your hands in a little more. Very good work. Place your left feet down, extend your legs long, give them a little shake. And you guys are all done. Fab work. See you soon.